in-cab chest workout that men and women can do. Even though us women, we have breast tissue, we all have the same chest muscles. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Tammy Carr. I'm Jeremy Carr. We are Trucking, Trucking with, with the cars. cars. Today, Tammy's gonna show you how to do a better chest workout hitting the upper, <laughs> the mid, and the lower <laughs> chest muscles. Check it out. Hey babe, I can do inclines, check it out. I got my weights, and all I gotta do is drop. drop watch out for the baby, like watch out for the baby. <laughs> Where's your range of motion, babe? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not very good range of motion. No. And, and I guess I would need some heavier weights. Yeah. You know what? I got a good idea. Okay, so my idea, bands. They're an awesome alternative to weights. So we're gonna focus first on the upper chest. And so the angle of our arms should not be straight out. You want a little bit higher. Now, to get the proper angle, you want your attachment to be down low. So what we did is we went to the net. We're gonna attach it down here secure the band and so you could actually double the band if you are a little bit stronger or for me I do a single so when you get started you're gonna lock in your elbow press down your shoulder and you're not gonna be doing like a shoulder press we're actually gonna go horizontally across our body punch out and go across and you can actually feel the clavicular fibers working if you put your hand right here and you know you're doing it right. You wanna come down slow, punch out. Come down slow, horizontally across your body. It's awesome, you can, like I said, put your hand right here and you can actually feel the fibers working. Hey babe, that was a great, great idea for the upper chest, but hey, nothing beats me doing push-ups and hitting my mid-chest. Oh, okay. Big part of my chest. Big. <laughs> Ow. Wait. There we go. <laughs> that looks like it's working really good. But hey, guess what? I have another idea. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna focus on our mid chest, using the band, of course. So, we're gonna attach the band to this part of the netting. Again, I'm gonna use a single band, but you can use a double band. Now, when we are working the mid chest, we're gonna simulate a bench press. So we're gonna push out but for the added benefit of this exercise, and because we're using bands, we can actually horizontally cross our body for an additional contraction. Check it out. So, when you're using the bands, I would highly recommend going under the arm, because if you go over the arm, <laughs> anyways, tuck it under the arm. And now remember, we're doing a bench press, right? But we're gonna come across. Much better than those push-ups, Jeremy. Hey, babe, but I can do dips. Get my lower chest. Oh yeah? Like, yeah. Like How are you gonna manage that one? My, my body angle up high like this. And I can dip. Huh. But I guess I can do this all day. I could I could do I could do a hundred days. 100 and a kiss, 100 and a kiss. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I can do 50. But you know what, babe? Yeah. I have a better idea. You do? Okay. I do, you wanna check it out? Yeah. All right. So the nice thing about bands that I wanted to mention 
is that it has a consistent and constant strength curve. And what that means is that the tension stays on the muscle consistently, whether it's the negative or the positive part of the movement. Lastly, we're gonna work on our lower chest muscle, basically from the armpit down. So what we need to do to get this area is to change the angle of our arm. So we're gonna raise our band up high. I don't know how many of y'all have a ladder in your truck, but if you do, it's really great for this exercise. So just attach your band. And again, an extra benefit of the band is not just the flexibility of it, but you can come across that horizontal movement. So we're gonna come down and across. And so it simulates kind of like a dip, except that we're not bringing our arms back necessarily, but more of a stretch of the chest muscle. So down and then across. Really get a good squeeze at the end. Go slow when you come up, down, across, and get that good squeeze. those three together and you get one killer in cab chest workout for men and women. We hope you enjoyed today's workout and if you haven't done so go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the notification bell and in the comments let us know if you like these in cab workouts and if you'd like to see some more.